Hi. Well, I'm here with a burned up ACM. Some of you may have seen a post about an accident that Yoshi had with his ACM, this ACM. Uh, he had a rather severe fall when he was riding some river trails in Southern California. Some of the trails I ride myself, they're beautiful for riding. Uh, the unicycle's smooth and you can go really fast. Well, he was, he estimates he was going in a 30 mile range on the ACM. The battery was not fully charged and he had tilt back off and alarms off and it gave out on him. So uh, he suffered some injuries, a lot of soft tissue injuries as he rolled away from it and it continued off the edge of the trail, down the embankment, boulder strewn embankment and uh, into the river. And at that point the river was uh, is salt water. It's, it's real close to the ocean. And he said he pulled it out and at that point it caught on fire. I wasn't there, but I, I asked him if I could have it. He was going to throw it away and he said, sure, uh, take it. <laughs> I thought maybe I could have, get a few spare parts off it because I have an ACM. And if nothing else, I could show you guys uh, the result of a 30 mile an hour crash with an ACM. Okay, well, uh, you can see the damage is really severe and in hindsight, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get many spare parts out of this. Uh, it, it's, it's incredible. Um, this suffered, well, besides all the, the burn damage, I'll show you, it looks like, so it's two battery packs. This battery pack burned up for sure. Uh, the battery pack on the other side actually doesn't look like it burned but it does look like it suffered there's some damage maybe just damage from uh, the salt water I'm not sure I'm going to take it apart a little bit uh, but the, the damage that this this look look at this pedal I'm not sure if you can see how how the pedal is warped and I mean, obviously this is the burn damage, but besides that, all the all the case damage that occurred, that didn't occur from the fire. That just occurred from this thing rocketing down probably uh, 20 feet from the top of the trail down to the river. You can imagine bouncing on top of the uh, boulders. Uh, so all this mechanical damage that that just occurred from from just crashing uh, so it's hard to say whether the, the the impact caused caused the batteries to self to start to ignite or the shorting of the batteries when they were in the salt water I don't know so here you can see I'm not gonna be too careful of this battery but I mean, if this battery, if this battery had caught on fire, I think the whole thing would have gone up in flames like this one. So I'm guessing, I don't know, this may be just heat damage from, from the fire. Uh, so I don't think this one actually caught on fire. Heat damage and uh, probably salt water damage. All right, so I'm going to take this apart as much as I can. I'm curious to see what condition the control board is, maybe the motor, I don't know. And uh, I'll film some of it. You can just, see, we'll see what I get out of it when I'm all done.
Well, I don't think the control board is, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I'd want to use it anyway, since it was in salt water, but uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. Looks like at least at least two of the MOSFETs are fried. And uh, yeah, I don't know. So do you, do you, um, would it be worth trying to save the motor? I'm leaning against it. I don't know. The motor's about 200 and, well, I had to replace one of mine. So it was 220, about 250 bucks shipped. And uh, I'm not sure you'd want to trust this thing since it's been in salt water. And who knows what would have what happened electrically. Doesn't look like I can save the the tire. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's worth even attempting to save the motor. I might save these brackets though. You never know. And the shims actually inside the the wedges inside the brackets they might come in handy at some point. So I open up the the burned up battery pack, and uh, it's interesting. So it looks like uh, I don't know maybe a third of the battery pack actually burned up, but. Uh, these look okay. I mean, <laughs> relatively okay. This, I suspect, is a salt salt water damage uh, and probably heat damage. But these definitely did not go up in flames. So uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's encouraging or not in terms of our general safety with these things. Um, you know, being able to go up in flames. If, if this thing was on fire and not all of them burned up, then maybe that's a good thing for our battery packs. Maybe the ones that burned up, maybe these suffered the, the physical trauma of, uh, you know, hitting the rocks. And that's what really got it going on, uh, on fire. I don't know. And then also, I know there's, well, it's been a, I've seen a couple comments about uh, maybe Gotway substituting the batteries. This wheel, Yoshi had only had it, so sad, but he only had it for two weeks. So it was a new wheel. And these batteries are uh, NCR18650GA. And as I say that, I don't know anything about these batteries, but I know some of you battery geeks out there will know. This was uh, supposed to be a 1600 watt hour ACM. So these are the cells. So I imagine a, I'm going to open up the other battery pack just for kicks and uh, see what it looks like inside.
Yep, it's wet in here. And I'm supposing that's water, but uh, there's definitely a lot of corrosion. So I don't, think these, I don't think these batteries do too well getting submerged in water. I don't think it probably wasn't in the water for too long. But uh, yeah, well, that's that. Well, this is all that remains of Yoshi's two week old ACM. So sad. Well, I might be able to make use of a few of these parts. For sure I'll be able to make use of this pad since one of mine is starting to fall apart. I've had my ACM since January of uh, 2017. These valve covers are usable. Probably won't need an extra pedal, but you never know. Uh, likewise with these uh, pedal brackets, but maybe if I find hear, hear of someone that needs one, I can give, give them give them one of mine. These are probably, well they might come in handy, extra wedges for the axles in case uh, mine get um, distorted beyond repair. Well that's it. Hope you enjoyed this uh, tour of a burned up ACM. And uh, thanks for stopping by guys. Talk to you later.